Hi, I'm Mary Bailey. I have three older sisters who have all been through high school and they talk about all the time about how they never saw their principal and their principal never came to anything except for like sporting events. And so I just think that we're super blessed to have her. She's 10 out of 10, upper D. She's very supportive of every student. It's really nice to everybody. My administration as an assistant principal at Brighton High School moved to a Jordan School District office. It was Jordan School District at the time. And at Jordan School District, I was over all of the student appeals and all of the serious discipline issues. And I became principal at Copper Hills High School. I was principal for three years there, loved it, loved the kids at Copper Hills. In 2009, when the school district split, I came to work as the high school director in Canyon School District. I asked for the privilege of coming to Corner Canyon and for a couple of years spent time working with the architects and with the construction company and with the district facilities department to design the school. They let me have maybe more freedom than most principals and I got to choose colors, I got to choose even the, the tiles in the bathrooms, got to choose those colors and um, a lot of other decisions that involving the school. One of the great things that came out of that is that um, I had an idea to have the victory light. You know, we have a pretty unique design on our school and clear on top of that dome is a bell tower, like in the old-fashioned schools. And what I wanted to do was to put lights in the bell tower, blue lights, so that when we won a debate tournament, or when a basketball game, or when a student received a special scholarship of some kind, we could turn on the victory light and celebrate together. So that when someone drives by, they say, oh, something great must have happened today at Corner Canyon, the victory light's on. Um, there's a little plaque in the, um, under the dome that talks about Marvin and the victory light. And um, I think it's the perfect example of generosity and service. I also spent a full year hiring teachers and we hired only the best. The teachers that you see here are teachers all hand-picked because they like kids and because they know their content and because they're great presenters. So that made an, a huge difference too. I've worked at a lot of other schools. I've never worked at a school with a faculty like this. They are amazingly talented and amazingly generous people and they really like working with kids and that's the bottom line for me. So I think that helps too to create a culture of inclusion and acceptance at our school is the great faculty. I remember the first year that I was here, I told her how much I enjoyed working for her and she stopped me and corrected me and said, now you don't work for me, you work with me. And for the three years that I've had the pleasure of working with Mary Bailey, that has been um, kind of her approach. Happy, Happy retirement, retirement, Mary. We're so going to miss you. Just like the, the Queen of England attending um, performances of Shakespeare, we feel that when Mary comes here, she's our Queen, and we're so grateful for the opportunity to perform what we've created for her. When many administrators look for reasons to say no to ideas and projects and things students want to do. What I appreciate about Mary is she always looks for ways to say yes. I'm striving to be Mary Bailey when I grow up. Um, it's been an honor and a privilege to work with her. She's the most deserving of retirement and a new adventure in life, but she will be missed. Thank you. She really truly cares about each student and she has everyone's best interests in mind and it's just been so nice to work with her and I love her and I'll miss her. Mary Bailey is the most understanding and caring person I've ever met. She honestly puts so much work into the school and I admire her so much for that. She you who's up on that, Bailey, who just grasped your